The Harper government is promising to get tough on white-collar crime. In Ottawa today, the Justice Minister laid out details of new legislation imposing longer prison sentences for boardroom criminals. Now, word of that came as the founder of Century 21 Canada was in Victoria, speaking to business people about the importance of values in the corporate world. A news reporter Maggie Cox was there. From convicted to accused white-collar criminals, it's hard to pick up a newspaper or watch TV without hearing about the latest investment fraud, Ponzi scheme, or hedge fund swindle. The Bernie Madoffs and Ian Thous of the world have been hogging the headlines since the recession hit. And that's why entrepreneur Peter Thomas says it's now more important than ever for businesses to get back to their values. I look at it and I just feel sick half the time. I just, you, you can't believe what they're doing. And, uh, of course, it's so wrong. It's up to us as business people and people who are in charge of important jobs to make sure this doesn't happen. Thomas is in town today to speak to Victoria's business community about his new book, Be Great, The Five Foundations of an Extraordinary Life in Business and Beyond. Look, what we try to do is to show people how that if they live a life in alignment with their values, that they can probably achieve every dream or success that they want how you can put values into your day-to-day -day world. While Thomas was speaking to the crowd, the Harper government announced plans to get tougher on white-collar criminals, promising longer prison sentences for those found guilty and victims a stronger voice in court. We'll propose a two-year mandatory jail term for fraud over $1 million and add new aggravating factors that will be considered by the courts when handing down sentences in fraud cases. Sentences will now have to take into account the degree of planning that goes into the scam. But at the end of the day, Peter Thomas says that people need to do their own due diligence before trusting others with their money. Ask the questions. Don't be afraid to ask the questions. Not just, you know, uh, that hurting instinct like a buffalo running over the cliff, you know. Uh, that's what people seem to do. Oh, it's a great deal. Uh, and everybody runs and does the same investment. <laughs> And to avoid being trampled by the herd, Thomas says, look before you leap. In Victoria, Maggie Cox, A News.